Buenos dias, Gunners Collective TV. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking trap addict. Bye, 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 In a minute, we'll start in a direct fashion. We're going to get straight into the content of the day. But before we do, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support. We're definitely going up, and it's all because of you, right? I ain't done nothing. Orale pinchy blue face. Bust down, Tatiana, bust down. Uh-huh. They didn't want to, hey, he didn't want to bust down on the main line. Nuh-uh, because they were going to have him really busting down, right? So it seems like TMZ reports that good old blue face, gangster ass blue face, right? Mm-mm. This ain't crippin' right here, right? Has decided to check into protective custody right now. They placed him in protective custody, and I don't care what anyone says. No, he's an ad. It says ad seg. Look, ad seg is code word for that walk was in PC, right? And I'm gonna tell you why. Um, it could be his celebrity status. It could be all the rah rah, the bumpy baking sort of breath on the door, you know, over the internet. People are feeling some type of way. See, you have to separate social media from real life. There is a time when social media becomes real. Guard, it becomes real life, right? It becomes real life. I know this. A lot of other people understand and know it. If you're seasoned and you know what's up, then you have the you are of the understanding that just because you talk that shit and you're famous, you got a little bit of money and you're a rapper and you can go back and forth with Soldier Boy. Tell him, right? Let me tell you, Soldier Boy wasn't too far off when he said your ass is going to be eating pork and beans. You know, he's lucky he got away from eating pork. You know, and them smashing his beans. Because it seems like the administration decided to place him in administrative segregation. Now, either one or two things happened. Either they did that because of his celebrity status and because they don't want more drama and they have to look out for the safety and security of him because he'll go into certain places and people will try to extort him or beat him up just because of who he is. He becomes a trophy now, right? There's dudes that are really hardcore gangsters. Vatos that ain't rapping. Vatos that don't have money like that. Vatos are like, oh, yeah, on crib, right? We'll do something bad to him. Or he requested it. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. It's, there's no way to wiggle around it, right? Now, from what I'm reading and what I'm seeing, he's placed in a part of the prison where he gets different amenities than the rest of the inmates. You know, most inmates are going to go through, you know, you, there's di different modules in LA County Jail. From everything I've heard, I've never been to the Los County Jail, but I've heard there's different modules. They have the Crip module, the Hoover module, of course. Southerners have their thing. Um, there's just different places that they could put you in high power, Certain spots, those that have been to the Central County Jail, Men's Jail in LA, I'm sure will chime in and let it be known exactly what it is. But this guy was placed in a spot where he's getting up to seven hours a day out of his cell, special access to the phones, TV time, day room, that was in there doing jumping jacks, all kinds of different shit. He's getting more than. Now, <clears throat> I had a homeboy that was in LA County Jail. I, I can't really call him a homeboy. He was an associate, right? And he was in high power. And I remember that he used to call. We used to conversate over the phone. Um, and he was out of cell quite a lot, right? And I used to be like, damn, bro, where are you at? Right? No, I'm in high power, eh? Because, you know, the way high power works around here, right? And I was like, yeah, I think you're in PC or something, eh? I, you know what I mean? Because you'll notice that guys that go into protective custody or guys that they're protecting or looking out for seem to get more uh, creature comforts than the rest. Whereas Valtos are in there cleaning their toilet in their cell, just fucking stressed out of the game facing life or whatever, are going through hardships, them about are on the phone all day. Do you really want to hurt me? They're over there singing Boy George songs. It's crazy, right? Um, I'm of an understanding that I think Blueface probably requested this. Now, this is just my assumption. I understand when you're famous, you have, you know, people like that guy Masterson, Danny Masterson, that got locked up. Of course, they kept him segregated and separated from the general population. When you're well-known, you're an actor, there's, there's reasons why they do that. The first and foremost is because they're scared you're going to get extorted. They're scared someone's going to take your booty, right? They're scared someone's going to take uh, uh, your box of Captain Crunch from your cell. And I understand that. You know, people get jealous, envious. Man, who's this Vato think he is? Automatically, there's some type of hate. Okay, but if you're a real gangster, you're doing gangster rap. You're out there with blue ponios, red ponios. Tatted down, clowning, talking shit back and forth to Soldier Boy, doing all that. You should have refused that. You could have refused that. Okay, you don't have to. This is one thing, um, and I'm going to let you guys know. Here's some knowledge you can't get in college. Real game. 
you do not have to accept being placed in protective custody. You don't have to accept that, homie. Don't play that. Oh, I didn't know because this motherfucker Blueface has been uh, locked up in there everywhere from Alabama to fucking Vegas to California. He knows a little bit about a lot of it when it comes to county jail. So he knows. Don't let him play that fucking role. Get out and be like, nah, you don't understand. See, the way my protective custody game works is I'm like King Von. I just played him. I just played him. I played him to get where I wanted to go because I had ops over there. No, you had ops over there, homes in general population. That's why your ass went to protect it. Cause let's keep it real, man. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. Wherever you do your time is doing time. Cause time won't give you time. What are boy George? Look at Chris John in the back. Rock looking like that in the back. Uh-huh. You know, she got chorra in her mouth right now. Now look, this is, he's like, he locked up. Bust down, Tatiana buzzer. She's busting down. Didn't that little white guy have her? Like, hey, hey. All right? I don't know. But I know when it comes to blue face and this is some serious shit, he could have definitely decided not to go to protective custody. He either, I think he requested it, man. I think he was in a situation where they asked him, they'll ask you. You know, especially if you're someone of stature or that nature, um, and they know that there could be issues and problems. They said, hey, man, look, I'm going to let you know right now, dude, you got issues, homie. You know what I mean? Uh, you want to go? And he'd be like, well, what, what, what can I do over there? We'll let you use the phone and eat cupcakes. Well, shit, sign me up. Right? And he was gone. Well, <clears throat> obviously, he was placed in general population in the beginning because it says subsequently he has been moved to Ad Sig. Now, he's been locked up for a minute now. He's been locked up for a few weeks or a couple weeks or whatever. So he basically was in general population. So one or two things happened. Bang, bang. Either he had a security concern. There was a fight or something happened that brought his name to their attention, right? Maybe Soldier Boy had the label call and say, hey, 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 in the oil or I was in, you know, in the back or whatever. That's, you know, or you'll some, hear some say, yeah, they put me in ad seg. And people, ad seg? Oh, no, you're no good. You were in ad seg. What do you mean? But I was in there for beating one of you up, right? Oh, shit, right? Ad seg is the whole. But they also consider administrative segregation in some places protective custody because the, administrate, the administration segregated you. They pulled you up out of the mix. So when this Volta gets out, he's looking at a July uh, uh, release date and he gets straight to the internet with all his jewelry on and he talks that high power shit. You know, I did my time, cuz, right? And talks all that shit. Bro, you let the man, you know, uh, give you cupcakes, zuzus, and wham whams. I'll give you some zuzus and wham whams, right? He went where the gangsters don't go. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. Sometimes there are situations where it's out of your hands, man. They're going to put you where the fuck they put you, you know. But if you're a real gangster and you're talking all that high power shit and you got a profile and, and you want to be known as a, an active gangster and all that, homes, then you can refuse it. You don't have to go. They're like, hey, we're going to put you over here with the zoos and the wham whams. You can say, nah, nah, wake me up because I won't go, go. You, I ain't going to go, homie. You got me fucked up. You know what I mean? Then they'll put you in the other part of the oil, the righteous part. And then TMZ will report, well, I got something to report today. Well, what are you reporting? Shit, that motherfucker blue face is about the business. Soldier boy, you, you better say, you better buckle up because when that about to get to, that about to in administrative segregation, the righteous side, right? No, instead they report, I think he got moved to protective custody because, you know, they were going to bust him down. Tatiana, look, does it really matter? Do people really care? Oh, there's going to be a whole bunch of people that our feelings are hurt, but did you not see it coming? You know, I've seen so many people of celebrity status, you know, refuse. Look at, there was a homie, man. I call him a homie. He was, he was a rasa, right? And he was a lightweight actor, not a big actor. Hadn't been in fucking movies and fucking, you know, Harvey Weinstein didn't bone him, right? So, but he, uh, he was a, a nice actor, man. He, you know, he was known to be in a couple little things and they put him in the county jail, right? And I remember they were trying to move him to add seg away from everyone, segregate him. Walk alone status is what it's called. Most guys will go on walk alone status. See, after a while of you refusing to be placed in PC, you're like, nah, I ain't going out like that, man. Fuck that. I refuse that shit, right? Because they can't make you do it. 
um, what they'll do eventually is put you on walk alone status so they can figure out what they're going to do to you. They'll sit you down like at a committee and, and decide where they're going to place you. They can't make you stay in protective custody around those people because now you, because you said you won't go there, you become a threat to their safety and security. And best believe they're more into protecting those weirdos than they are to protecting the general population. They'll say, oh, so you, you ain't scared. You want to go? Well, fuck you then. It's on you if you get stabbed. That's how it is. You know, they got dudes to protect. And they're going to protect them by any means necessary. The Vatos, you're not going to walk into the unit. The Vatos got cupcake all over their face on the phone. Hey, Blueface is here. Hike right now. They're not, it's not going to be like that. So usually over eventually over time, and I've seen a lot of people do it. That's what happened with that actor. They try to move him into fucking an ad seg or, you know, segregate him. Not PC because he refused that. Um, and he was like, nah, nah, Charlie. Eventually they moved him on the block with the homies. He came in that motherfucker like, what's up, bro? Right? And then that was it. General population. But you're going to have to go through some wiggle. It's not going to be easy. See, a lot of people get the misconception because people are actors or dancers or fucking comedians or singers or rappers or fucking cotitos. I don't know. But they get the misconception that these vaults are special. Ain't no man more special than the other. You done, hey, you walk them same streets, you did the same type of crime homes, you're going to do the same type of time. Now, all the officers are worried about is the integrity of the safety and security of that institution for them first and foremost, and then those that they need to serve and protect, right? The community and society is what they care about. That's why your ass is locked up and they care about themselves, homes that they don't find themselves in a wreck. So if you're going to make them do overtime and they don't want to do it, or if you're going to fucking cause chaos, they'll just snatch your ass up and throw you in the oil. Okay. But let me tell you about the hole. Cause I've done a lot of whole time. When you go to the hole, okay, usually it's 23 and one homes. And when I say 23 and 1, don't get it twisted. It ain't one hour every day out of yourself. It's one hour every other day or every third day for a shower, bro. And maybe to walk in that fucking day room back and forth in a hallway and maybe use a phone if you're lucky. That's what ad seg entails. Now, if you're an ad seg, if you're placed in ad seg, not by because you did something wrong, but because that's where they want to put you, you'll get a little bit more action. They'll let you out of your cell maybe an hour and a half, right? But that's about it. You're still on lockdown. You still ain't going to jeopardize the program. Don't give a fuck who you are. Eddie Murphy, make me laugh. <laughs> and that's it. Take your ass back to the cell. Jamie Foxx, didn't P. Diddy try to kill you? Get your ass in the cell. Chris Rock, you a bitch. You got slapped by Will. Get your ass in the cell. Will Smith, we're going to give you an extra half hour because yeah, you, we know you'll put hands on people, right? And that's it. That's how it is. They don't give a fuck who you are, man. So that's what the program looks like. But this guy has reported that he's getting seven hours out of the cell a day. Mm -mm. Nope. It shan't be. I call cow shit. Smell that? Uh-huh. That's cow shit. TMZ either got it fucked up, which they usually don't, right? They know what it is. They got motherfucking reliable sources. They're worse than the feds. They got CIs everywhere, right? Um, either they're reporting wrong, which I highly doubt, or this guy is in protective custody, man. He's getting all the specials things. You know, he's getting all the honey buns. Or, they're, you know, it was either them getting his honey buns, or now he's getting the honey buns. And meanwhile, you have Soldier Boy over there on TikTok, you know what I mean? Try to pop, trying to pop at his old lady and his moms. The game is fucked up. I, Pobrecito Blueface. Well, I mean, when you have money, uh, you're having fame and all that, man. These dudes are reckless, eh? They do more and more to try to impress strangers. I see people do it all the time on YouTube. Talk that high power shit or do whatever they got to do to impress a bunch of strangers, people they'll never meet in life, people that really at the end of the day just want to laugh at them and then move on with their day. You know, they don't understand what people are going through. They talk, oh, I'm not man, fool, I'm a G, fool. I did my time, shit. I paroled fucking uh, uh, active, homie. You know what I mean? Yeah, but what are you actively doing in your life besides fucking hoping a whole bunch of strangers will sign off on you? Nah. That ain't cool, man. At the end of the day, you have to realize, man, that your popularity and your buzz and your 15 minutes of fame is just that, just 15 minutes. But guess what? Once the fucking lights go down and the camera turns off, you have to be a man. You have to continue to be a man. You can't portray to be a man and then later on be a woman. You know what I mean? That just, that doesn't work that way. Pensa. Um, blue face has to be a man. Okay? And just because you're in protective custody doesn't not make you a man. It just means that's where he is placed, okay? Now, in the streets, and the streets talk a lot, believe me, more than they used to, right? They're not going to accept you, homie. It's a wrap. It's a wrap -a hat flatted to the back. That's just what it is. 
You know, but then there are going to be a lot of people out of 6 9 fans that don't care. They ain't tripping where this Vato's doing time. Hey, homie, who gives a fuck, gun? At the end of the day, he's a real one, eh? Yeah, that fool shot in the air at a club. He did that. He has more bigger fish to fry. He has to worry about all this money that he owes people getting sued. His old, his old lady over there with Chorra just grasping. I mean, pobrecito, you know, so the boy let him know for reals. You know, he said straight up, homie, you know, that he is the one that called fucking his record label and said, man, get this dude out of here. Now, he was probably just joking. It was all in jest and he was just capping and trolling or whatever, man. But at the end of the day, it's fucked up to have... For one black man to have another fellow black man locked up to be like, hey, yeah, I mean, get rid of this dude, man, because we got in an argument. That's not the way men handle it. Um, <clears throat> you don't tell on him because you don't like him. You know, you just you just wait, homie. You just wait till you get a time to shine, and that's it. But it is what it is. So is Blueface truly, literally, in PC protective custody? Uh, I say yeah. I say yeah, he's placed in there. Um, I think he requested that shit because, like I said, he was, he was in... GP for a minute, man. And then all of a sudden, they pluck him up out of there and throw him in administrative segregation. Now, that could be either he fucked up and fought and fucking was, or woofing that high power shit. And they're like, damn, this dude's a real gangster. Let's put him in that seg away from everyone else so he doesn't do physical harm to him. Because I ain't going to lie, I see him box a few times. He got a few little hands, right? Or they, he went, <laughs> they gonna beat me up. Why? Because I'm blue face, right? And then they said, okay, well, shit, where do you want to go? I don't, wherever they have the zoom, 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 the wham, And that was it, man. He signed off his little crown and boom, they shot him over there. And now he's over there with the whole bunch of rats and roaches and shiesty approaches. And, of course, probably a few chiyuhus. And he's in his element. He's like, hey, bro, can, can I tell you something? He's banging on his door. Vato's coming to his cell. He's like, can I tell you something? He's like, hey, you're blue face. Yeah, I listen to your music. Yeah, 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 fuck all that. Hey, bro, has anyone ever told you you look like Krishan Rock? Right? Bam! And that's it. He's right in his comfort zone, you know? Then he's going to get out and get right back to the cripping and right back to the music, right? But I think this time, man, he's not going to be allowed to talk all that high power shit. So you can't outlive your past, man. Hey, I couldn't escape mine, homie, and you can't escape yours. I understood, man, um, that me not being an active gang member and everything was going to bounce back in my face one of these days. People were not going to take my word for credibility. And I'm not here to proclaim gangster or try to play that role or wear blue or red rags or none of that, Holmes. I'm here to tell you as a non-active gang member in real life, Holmes, that I understand the situation you are placed in, man. And it's an icky, tricky one. And guess what, Blueface? It just is what it is. So anyways, man, <clears throat> with all out that being said and all the comedy and all the bullshit, man, you know, what do you guys believe? Do you believe that he's just an ad seg just doing whole time segregated because he's the big bad wolf? Or do you believe that some big old brother in the crypt mod will try to huff puff and blow his shit down. I don't know, right? But the way I see it, man, having done a lot of time, uh, that one doesn't protect you because he, he asked, bro. He said, hey, fuck that, can I go? Can I go in? Become, become, become. become. Meanwhile, Christian rocks in the back. Damn, that about the way. Hey, man, you should, hey, see, when you sell your soul, the devil doesn't tell you this, huh? He doesn't tell you, he's like, yeah, yeah, hey, don't trip, bro. I'm gonna give you a lot of money. You're gonna have jewelry on. Rings on every finger. You're going to be in the limelight. People are going to love you and recognize you. Oh, by the way, um, from this month to this month, you're going to be incarcerated to get fucked by a guy named Bubba and your old lady's going to be sucking chorra. Is that all right with you? Hike. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. It's just a little comedy to wake you up before you go, go, right? Um, enjoy your life. Enjoy yourself today, man. Um, go out there, strive, and get it for your familia. And remember, at the end of the day, Blueface can't even really rap. So who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, for all these youngsters, they're all like, damn, hey, that let us down. Hey, I seen it coming, right? It, it, it is what it is. Spencer, with that being said, thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people. Black, brown, white, we're all the same, man. Fist in the air. Let's do it. Let's do it pushing, man. Now, remember, just because that man is in protected custody and he's going through the struggle um, doesn't mean you guys can't listen to his music for all his little cheerleaders and fans. Go ahead. Listen to that cagada. <laughs> it's always going to be there, right? They don't call him blue face anymore. They call him pink face. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's just what it is. Bang, bang. They're gone.